Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Thursday. Are you thirsty for the word today? I'm thirsty. Woohoo! <clears throat> I am thirsty. Yes, indeed. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes. Let me get uh, some shares going on here. I encourage you at this time while you're coming on to go ahead and share. Yes. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. oh my what's wrong? What's wrong? Well, it's my uh, for some reason my phone's uh, session yeah. timed out is what it said. So it's just just taking a little bit longer to get in here than I anticipated. Anyways, yeah. There we go. You working now? Okay. Well, now good morning, going. Becky. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning. everybody. <clears throat> yes, Just taking a, a moment here to uh, to share. Phone's acting up this morning. Crazy phone. Yep, indeed. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. We're praying for you. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. Time, we don't have time to do all that, so. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. Let's Guys, get I started. encourage everybody that has prayer requests to please comment those prayer requests. We're going to get to those at yes. the end, so please add your prayer requests. If you need any prayer requests, anything that's unspoken, you don't want to say it, just Type unspoken and we'll add you to the prayer. Amen. If you would, please bow your heads. We are going to get started here. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for this opportunity that we have to come together. Father God, the best way to start our day yes, in the Lord. Word and in your presence in prayer. In Jesus' name, Father God, thank you. I ask that the Holy Spirit that you come in in abundance at this yes, time. God. Just come in. This is your time. Whatever you need to be said, let it be said. Anything that you need to do, let it be done. In Jesus' name, I claim all of these things. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. amen. Good morning, good morning everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 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 Y'all must have came on when we were uh, praying. So yes. good morning. It is Thursday. I hope you are thirsty for the word. And um, I tell you what, I just want to share, if I may, yes. um, what went on last night and what the Spirit led me to talk to our youth about that I feel that I need to share with the adults as well. Please. Um, it was really a great night. And um, the kids, it was a great Bible study. Um, we were talking about anger. And anger, what it does to us. And how it can affect us in so many different ways. Right, right. And... Um, I want to share. I want to share a, a couple of scriptures, um, if we are able to get to all of them. But but the the scripture that we went to last night is in Ephesians. Yeah. Um, Ephesians four twenty six is what I started with, and then it. Are you typing it in there? I'm just waiting on you. I said Ephesians four twenty six. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, okay. But don't let the passion of your emotions lead you to sin don't let anger control you or to be fueled for revenge mm. not even a day yes and so what <clears throat> i talked to them about is what happens we get our feelings again feelings are liars okay because we know that i gave the example of a text message if I send you a text message and I put I put a certain wording, you can take it that I'm mad at you. Correct. Or you can get mad at the response I send to you. That's right. This is why our interpretation, our perception of things sometimes is not the real case. That's exactly so right. So I, I started with Ephesians 426 because I wanted them to know that our emotions can lead us in the wrong path. Mm -hmm. It can get us fueled up in the wrong areas to cause us to be angry towards somebody. 
Yes, indeed. This is a scripture that they all got, and it was amazing. Um, I even had my young granddaughter in there, um, and, and it was amazing how the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> excuse me, how the Holy Spirit was in there, literally, and... And I broke it down so even these children could understand. I want to read Ephesians 4.31, just a couple verses down from, uh, good morning, Lamanda. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Ruby. Sorry I didn't see all of y'all. I'm just passionately talking about what the Spirit led me to talk about last night with my youth. And it says this. This is Ephesians 4.31. Lay aside bitter words. Temper tantrums, revenge, mm. profanity, and insults. Lay them aside. Lay them aside. So what we did last night was an awesome illustration and where... The word doesn't say pick them back up. Lay no, no, down. no, he does not. <laughs> but these he doesn't kids, say he lay them aside. Come on. But he doesn't say go back and pick them up later on. He just lay them aside and leave them there. Good morning, brother. Good morning, Pastor Rendon. So... The thing that they really got, we talked about temper tantrums. And even this, our little precious grandchild, I said, why did you throw a temper tantrum? And they all said, because we wanted our way. I said, but what if I want it my way? What happens? Well, it makes me mad. Why does it make you mad? I want it my way, you want it your way. I said, so does that tell us that we don't need to have anger? So I just wanted to start off and just talk to you about things that sometimes us, us, you know, especially us adults carry around anger. We carry around things that we, we take from one person and then another person adds to it. And like I kept going on, if I kept, if I keep poking Ben over and over and over, what are you going to do? You're going to get mad. Yes, I'm going to get agitated. That's because true. I keep put, I keep on and on and on. Have you ever heard somebody say, "I'm, I don't get mad, I get even," because they have already had thoughts, already have thoughts that they are going to do something in revenge, as the word says. In revenge to get you back for what you've done to them. That's right. And that's, okay? not, that's not biblical whatsoever. Guys. Absolutely I not. I to understand that. Absolutely not. That's what not. the world teaches. That's not what the word teaches. Absolutely not. I have heard parents over and over and over tell their children to do something in revenge to that other kid that has done something. I have literally told these children, I, there's, I, I don't have time because it would go off. But I, I taught on this all last night. And I just want to tell you, if you take those two scriptures, listen, lay aside. What's the first thing? What's in our heart comes out, right? Mm -hmm. Profanity, it says. It says profanity. Right down, Lisa Henderson. Profanity. When we get mad at someone, you hear people saying, blank you, blah, 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 blank, 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 blank. Because they're cursing at you. This takes an effect so many different things that anger does to us. Anger takes over us. It makes us, what's in, what's in our tongue, Ben? Life and death. Life and death. We either speak a blessing, blessing or, or a, a curse. curse. So immediately anger has us cursing at this person. Let's go back to Ephesians 431, I'm going to read it. Lay aside bitter words, temper tantrums, <clears throat> revenge, <throat> profanity, and insults. Yes. Have you ever met a person and people say that person is just angry? I have. Oh, yeah. There's somebody that no matter what time of day you talk to them, yeah. no matter, they're, 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 they're mad. They're bitter. They're, they, they're, they're mad. angry. They have issues. Yeah, I like the Amplified Classic of this particular one. Sure. It, this covers it a little bit in more in-depth. Go ahead. Hear, this is from the Amplified Classic. This is verse 31, Ephesians 4, verse 31. It yes, says, San Jose, California. Let, <clears throat> let all bitterness and indignation and wrath, mm. passion, passion, mm -hmm. okay? These are things that boil up from our Come emotions, on. right? Passion, there. rage, bad temper, and resentment. 
resentment for anything that anybody's ever done to you, you've got to lay those things aside, Come on. which is anger and animosity. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not angry, but I'm still thinking about it. Guys, <laughs> you got yeah. to get rid of it. You've got to lay those thoughts aside because the more that you think about it, the more that you eat it up, it eats you. Mm -hmm. We talked about that word on Sunday, fago. Fago means to eat. Yes, consume. Anything that you consume, okay? It also, anything that you consume, consumes you. you. Bingo. So, so anger and animosity. Come on. Quarreling, brawling, yep. clamor, contention, and slander. Anything that you say against somebody else is slander. Amen. That's evil speaking, abusive, and blasphemous language. It, it encompasses so much right there. If you have an issue with me, Wait, you come to me. If you talk to somebody else, you're guilty of slander, mm -hmm. right? Okay, just make sure we understand. Yes. Be banished from you. All these things be banished for, from you with all malice, spite, ill will, or baseness of any kind. Yes. It, any kind. Mm -hmm. Why does Jesus leave his peace and not the fragile peace of the world? Come on now. So we don't have to have these things Amen. in our life. So we're not operating in the way the world operates. Who's the dark prince of this world? Satan. Satan. The devil. He wants you to be angry. He wants you to be blasphemous. He wants you to slander. Yeah, he he wants us to quarrel. Yeah, he does. Well, we're just talking about bib biblical stuff. It says in Titus... Those things are useless. Yes. We don't even need to argue. We don't need to argue about the word. We need to live in it. Yes. Okay? We need yes. to live in it. Yes. Doctrine, dogma, uh, denominational stuff. Those things we need to set aside. Come on. Because those serve us no purpose no. whatsoever. No. So, so let me just tell you what the demonstration. I've been doing lots of hands-on demonstrations for these youth. I mean, I, this has been going on for a couple months. The Lord... I thought, remember, remember like two years ago, the Lord gave me a vision and I said that there was going to be props and I oh, thought, yes, it, yes, okay, yes. so I'm not going to go, but anyways, I've been doing this and I've done it since my ministry, even with the women uh, starting years back. I thought it was for them, but the Lord showed me it was for me. So I did this really cool demonstration, um, with Coke and Mentos, okay? I'm sure you know Diet, where Diet, this is going. Diet Coke. I'm sure you know where this is going, but we got a, we got Cokes, Diet Coke, and then Mentos. And my demonstration for these children was that when we carry around anger, we, we have anger, so we get a Coke bottle, and we put in my, Mentos. And I even took a video of it last night. What do you think happened? <laughs> Yes, it boiled it over. It boiled over. It boiled over from someone putting in insults, someone cursing at them, someone uh, constantly poking and, and agitating that person where they got so angry, which they were the Coke bottle and the Mentos were all these things that kept on adding up. All and these things we just read. All these things we just read. And all of a sudden the Coke went, Psh. But I asked the kids, the Holy Spirit told me in that moment, as this Coke bottle is spewing everywhere, I I wasn't even gonna go there. And the Holy Spirit reveals to me this. All of a sudden we're gonna they're putting in the Mentos and this Coke bottle spewing. The first thing we did, Ben, is we backed all the way up. And the Holy Spirit said, This is what happens when someone unleashes their anger. That Coke, if I'd have stayed right in the middle in the path of that Coke, which could have been someone lashing at me or me lashing at them, yeah. it would have hurt every single one of us. It, it hurts yeah, us. It touches them. It touches us. And then what happens? It's a vicious cycle. If that, if you allow it in your life for one second, yes. someone to come in and you hold on to it, you don't release it, it affects Every, Every single, single one, one that's in the path of that. That's right. And it was spewing. And the Lord showed me at that moment. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Yes. So it was a great lesson. And I had to share it with you guys because I want to encourage you. And here's what it says to do. This is in Proverbs. And this is how, <coughs> I, ended, this is how I ended last night. And it was really amazing. We all gave our anger to God. We all repented for being angry. And, you know, the kids, their parents. And, you know, I was, they were talking, you know, they were talking about their parents coming in and being rude and, and how it has hurt them. 
I'm going to go to Proverbs 19, verse 11. 19, 11. Yes, Proverbs 19, 11. A wise person demonstrates patience. For mercy means holding your tongue. Um. When you are insulted, be quick to forgive and forget it. Mm. For you are virtuous when you overlook an offense. Uh, Woo! There you go. Man. There you go. So, that was powerful. Mm. What do we need to do? We need to we need to be patient and we need to overlook what they're saying. We need to restrain our anger. We need to. That is self-control comes into this. We need to make sure at that mm. moment when someone comes in because trust me, I I'm honest. I know something that gets me mad. And I have to, in that moment, Father God, I give it to you today. Yes. I give it to you at this moment. Yes, indeed. Well, here's a, something that you know that you were saying that we all have to have control. Mm -hmm. How many people have told you, I just can't control myself? Mm. I, I just can't. That's just the way I am. Yeah. That's just, I'm just like my dad. Yeah. I'm just like my mom. I'm just yes. like my grandmother. Guys, that's a lie from the enemy. That's a lie from the enemy. The word of God is very clear. We we have the strength. We are all we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, right? Amen. And I don't want to misuse that particular scripture like so many people have done in the past. The things that we get strength in are, are in his will, right? He, he gives us the ability to be strengthened. His Amen. will is for us not to do these things. Yes. His will for us is not to be angry. His will for us is to operate in the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit has. Yes. Does the Holy Spirit yes. get angry and start throwing a fit? No. And if he's leading the way, will I? No. Now, I can make a choice. Our, our choices are where it's all at. Come on. I can make a choice to operate in this world or operate in him. Amen. I can make that choice. I have that. We have free will. We all know this, okay? We all have free will. God gave us free will. Okay? Amen. So we have the opportunity every single day to witness for him or witness for the world. Mm -hmm. Witnessing for the world is acting acting a fool. Come on now. Acting a fool. You get angry. You start saying things that you should not say. Later you regret. And it causes a lot of havoc. That that Diet Coke over everybody. How many families do we know yes. that have so much anger in it, they don't even speak to each other anymore, they yes. don't get together anymore, they don't have Christmas dinner, yes. Thanksgiving, they don't get together yes. at all because there's so much hurt, there's so much anger in the family. Yes. <clears throat> and, and that these things yes. have these things have blighted out what could be in this family. This family, the entire town could know them as those are the people that you go to for prayer. Those are the people that you go to that when you need encouragement. Those are the people that you know to that you need to go to because they're going to help you get on the path of righteousness. Or those are the people you don't want to be around. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between the two. Come on. Yes, now. you know, and something was brought up, and and uh, uh, Mandy was saying earlier. She was dealing with things this morning. Listen, this is something that was brought up that even children said. And it's amazing how we're wearing the shirts today uh, in 1 John. But also 2 Timothy came to my mind last night. And we did briefly touch on this. And I told I will be doing a study on this. But they said a lot of times that um, they gave examples. Come on, y'all. These are, these are junior high yes. and high school uh, children that I'm dealing with. These are our youth. And they said something very interesting uh, when we were asking about anger, what made them angry and what people have lashed out them about. And they said, sometimes I don't even know why people's mad at me. And they gave the example of a boyfriend, a girlfriend, and that a girl may be jealous of them. And I said, well, that is a fearful situation. That's right. Everything is stemmed by fear. Yes. That girl's fearful that her boyfriend likes you or this and that. And we touched on fear, and they were talking about being fearful over things. And people, exactly. And I literally told them, I said, where does fear come from? The enemy. What? I said, what does fear come from? The devil. What does anger come from? The devil. The, I said, the devil, the anger, the, I have to put it, understand, 
Praise God, Rudy. I ha you have to understand. I have to break this down in lamest terms. And we can all understand. God does not want us walking around angry. No. God does not want us walking around in fear. That's God right. does not want us walking around with these things over us. The hurts, the pains. We have to give it to God. Yeah. We must ask God, Lord, take this away. I give it to you and I lay it at your feet. At your feet. I mean, who wants to be an angry... I mean, if, you, if somebody knows you as an angry Christian, is that going to Praise bring God. anybody? Is that going to win anybody to him? Come on now. That, that's why he encourages us to do the things Amen. that he encourages us in the Word of God. Yes. These things are so important to understand. How are you going to know these things? Open your Bible and start studying the Word. Amen. I, I, man, that, that's too hard. Pray about it. He gives us strength. Again, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. I can't do that. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens Come on. me. That's not who I am. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Come Amen. on, man. There's All of it is just an excuse. Okay? Mm. The enemy wants you to have a bucket full of excuses. So every time it's time, oh, here's my excuse yeah. for the day. Oh, here's my excuse for this time. <laughs> yeah. No, the excuses need to be replaced. Come on now. You want an empty vessel and you want to fill Come it on. up with the word Listen, of God. Listen, and this is what and this is what I do when I pray for someone and I do when I pray for myself. I say, Lord, I remove all the bad. Yes. In the name of Jesus, and I replace it, and then I replace it with the fruits of the Spirit. Yes. I, and then I feel, after I have said, Lord, take away all this pain, all this hurt, all this unforgiveness, all this bitterness, all this anger. But Lord, I say right now, I replace it with love, joy, peace, kindness, gentleness, goodness. And then I go on and on, because we want to make sure that what we remove, we replace. Amen. With what his word says. Can Ab I get an amen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Woo! Absolutely. feel like preaching this morning. Yes, indeed. Yes, okay. Indeed. Yes, indeed. That's what I wanted to share. Amen. I pray it bless you. I pray that you can take these scriptures and hold on to them and release what God has. He wants us to release it to him in amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Okay. Praise God. Well, you know, and, and again, we so often we don't, just, we don't talk about... Uh, what she's going to talk about, and I don't talk about what I'm going to oh, talk about. My God. But I'm telling you what, this all ties in together you, so 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 well. I can't wait to hear what the, you're the talking thing, about. The <laughs> thing that we're talking about today that I'm I'm bringing that God put it put on. on me is righteousness. Mm. If we are walking in righteousness, if we are walking in that, then we are not going to be doing these other Come things. Come on right? now. Let me. We're going to start in Proverbs. Okay, we're going to go to Proverbs. If you would comment. Proverbs. Yes, sir. Proverbs eleven thirty. Proverbs eleven thirty is where we're going first this morning. The first this morning we're going to start in Proverbs eleven thirty. I'm going to give everybody an opportunity that is at home to. Before you get started, can I just say something? Yeah, please. I just uh, I'm just now seeing. I just grabbed my phone. I'm just now seeing Rudy. Rudy, praise God, you had a good night's sleep. Praise God. Thank yes. you all for praying for Rudy. He just said that he is breathing better. I'm ready to go home. I'm grateful for God. Yes, yes, God. Listen. This is great news. So Amen. this is a praise Amen. report. Wonderful. I praise God for, for touching you, Rudy, and that you had a good night's sleep, and that God is bringing you through. We have been nonstop praying for you, and I appreciate each and every person that has been on and praying for Rudy with us. So thank yes. you for that. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes. There's lots of people that have been out there praying. Praise God. Guys, that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. We need to come together, unified, in one accord, and lift up each other in mm -hmm. prayer. When we operate in the things that you were talking about, in anger and unforgiveness and stuff like that, our first thought is, I don't want to pray for them. Uh huh. Come on now. Come mm -hmm. on now. Why should I pray for them when this has happened in my life? Praise we God. need to get rid of all of that stuff. Amen. So we're going to start in Proverbs. Proverbs 11.30. Here we go. Proverbs 11.30. All right. The fruit of the righteous... Is a tree of life, mm. and he who wins souls is wise. Okay, Why, if we operate in anger, if we operate in slander, if we operate in the things that we mm. just spoke about, okay, we're not going to be living a righteous life, right? We're not going to be living righteously. 
Okay? Come on, hear me out now. It is, I don't want to lose anybody here. Oh, my goodness. No, these are the things that the Word of God says that we need to focus on. The righteous man, okay? The righteous man, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. Okay? Now, what, what, I, what I glean from this scripture is I'm not going to be able to change everybody that I come in contact with. Okay? <laughs> There's going to be people that look at me, and before I even say a word, they're not even going to like me. They're going to like, I don't like like his face. I'd like to punch him in the face. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, That's yeah. the truth. Yeah. People will see me, and they're like, for whatever reason, it they, reminds them I'm somebody or something about me. So a lot of people, they don't like beards. Okay? <laughs> come on. That's true. Somebody walks up like, I, I don't like a guy with a beard. It's so but, funny because I... When I when I talked one time, I gave a message and um, I said some people will not like me. I said they just just can't say I don't like your voice. I don't like her. I just don't like her. And I've heard this before. I know I'm laughing, but literally I've heard people say I just don't like that that guy. I don't like him. Well, why is his message? Is he teaching false teaching? No, I just don't like him. Just don't like him. <laughs> just don't like him. So what does this what does this particular scripture say to me? Okay, my tree. When I live righteously, when I live by the word of God, when my mm -hmm. when my fruit, they will know them by that you will know them by their fruit. When my fruit is evident, they don't have to like me because my tree will grow so large. Come on now. Okay, my tree will grow so large that some of that fruit will drop off. And I'm telling you right now, I see it all the time. We got pecans all in our yard, okay? Pecan trees. They don't just fall and land right here. They fall and they bounce. Okay, they may they come may on. they may end up 10, 15, 20 yards, and then a squirrel might come and grab one, and then it's on the other side of the yard. That's why we have to watch out what we do. We want to be righteous because the fruit of the righteous tree is a tree of life. And why is that important? Yes, because that says. will win souls. Yep. That will get people into a love relationship with him. That's the purpose of it all. Our fruit is there's a purpose for our fruit. Not our not the things that not the gifts that I operate in, not the, the, the things that go in my life, not any of that thing. The fruit of what I do. Come on now. The righteousness is a tree of life. And the wise, and it says, and he who wins souls is wise. Praise yes, God. Praise God. God. Did you have something? I just love what mine says, the yes. way it reads. It says, but a life lived loving God, yes. who, who loves God here, but a life lived loving God bears lasting fruit. Yes, indeed. For the one who is truly wise wins souls. Amen. Woo! Amen. And that's not talking about the wisdom of the world. That's talking about the wisdom of heaven. Oh, I don't know the difference. Well, you need it. Let's get on our knees. Come on now. Pray for that wisdom. Pray for that understanding. Pray for that discernment. And I'm not talking about the discerning of spirits that's talked about in, in, in First Chronicles, First Corinthians chapter 12. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the understanding. You all know what I'm talking about. You have a feeling inside of you. Well, um, there's something not going on there. That's, that's the Holy Spirit. He's given you heavenly wisdom in that situation. Now, not an emotion. You gotta... Not an emotion. Not an emotion. Not a feeling. That is Him telling you what you need to do. And how many Holy of us? Spirit. The Holy Spirit. How many of us ignore that? Yeah, I've ignored it, and let me tell you, it's not good. No. If he tells me to go left and I keep on going right, woo, I have done that right. And let me tell you, it leads to not a good road. That, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. I know people all the time, well, the Holy Spirit told me to do this, but. But. Uh, but, but. But. But I feel that. Um, uh, you know, oh, it, my it, it, goodness. It, it, it Trust me, I banged my head against the wall <laughs> enough to know I need to listen to the Holy Spirit. In all things. Everything. 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 That we need to operate with our spiritual ears open, our spiritual eyes Come on open. Now. We have to do that anybody every single with me this day. Morning. Come on. Anybody here? Anybody listening? Anybody understanding this? If you don't, please comment so we can expand yes, on these thoughts. God. Okay. The next scripture that we're going to look at is Proverbs twelve three. Okay. Proverbs 
12, 3. Okay? Now, this is what the world wants you to think about successful people. The world wants you to think about those movie stars in Hollywood that are saying all kinds of trash. Those, those, those politicians that are in power are doing all kinds of things to get their way. This is a scripture we need to understand. Proverbs 12, 3. Okay. Right. A man is not established by wickedness. <laughs> that is a temporary situation. Your roots are not deep when you are wicked. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there benefits in this life and in this world and operating? Very temporary, right? I can sell myself to the soul to the devil and I can have power and money all day long. Yes. I don't want that. Why? Okay? Why? Because mm -hmm. I want to have them, my treasures in heaven. Amen. And it says, but the root of the righteous cannot be moved. Woo! Cannot That's good. be moved. Some people will come against you. People, the world will come against Amen. you. Amen. And your roots are solid. Why? Because they are in with Jesus. That's they are it. down in the soul. That's they, it. they are sucking up the living water. Wow. We are we are wow. literally, literally part of the vine, right? Wow. Who has the deepest roots? God does. If we are connected to, and Jesus is connected to the Father. Wow. That's what the Word of God says. So when we graft ourselves to Jesus, our roots are unstoppable. Our roots are so deep, nothing can get in the way. Mm. Well, this has happened, that's happening. You've got a choice in that moment. Wow. You want to pull up roots, roots and run, or you want to keep getting deeper and deeper in what he has. The righteousness is where it is. A man is not established with wickedness. That means that we need to seek out holiness. That means that we need to seek out righteousness. That means I need to be more of a saint than I was yesterday. God, break more of Ben off. Get rid of more Ben. I want to be as righteous as you, Jesus. I want to do the things of you. Take me out and put you in. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes, <clears throat> you were going to say I, 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 it's amazing, God, it's amazing that here we are again, I think it was sometime earlier this week how the Holy Spirit, we read about going deeper in his root, the roots, the roots, <coughs> yep. the roots, and here we are again, back with roots. Yes. The Holy Spirit is saying something. This whole week has been, um, every morning, I mean, it has been something on each one of us. Yes. And it has just been so powerful. The Holy Spirit is amazing how 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 he put things he puts things on me. I have no clue what he's talking about, and the Holy Spirit tells him something. But it's the same. It it meshes because God's word is so powerful. It is. He wants us to get it. He wants it to sink into us. Yes. And that's what we have to. Uh, mind says you can't expect success success. By doing what's wrong. That's exactly right. We can't do what's wrong. But the lives of his lovers are deeply rooted and firmly planted. Yes, indeed. How firmly are you planted? How deep are your roots? Let them keep going deeper and deeper in Jesus. Yes, indeed. Amen? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And, and what, that's what we have to do. Uh, you know, the, the it, it is frustrating because, you know, with some of us that are in different roles where we counsel and we minister and stuff like that when the same person comes back with the same issue because their roots are not deep okay people want to plug into you some of you understand what I'm talking about they want to plug into you they want to sap all of your time they want to sap all of your energy they want to get into what you got guys we need to learn how to do that for ourselves amen Yes, we're all unified. Yes, we all come together. Yes, we all support each other. It says when two believers walk together, one stumbles, the other one picks up. Yeah. Yes, but how can I pick you up if my roots are deep? Here's the thing. When I lean over, you will I, you will drag me down. Woo, yes. Come on now. You ever reached over and picked up? I mean, grandbabies are always running over in there and they're trying to and they're trying to jump up and when I'm not stable, when I don't have my feet right, what happens? I start to fall. Mm -hmm. I need to be stable in him. I need to be rooted in him. That's so good. when somebody does fall, I can pick them up. And then I can teach them how their roots need to be deep. Come on. Okay? Because if I don't do that thing, 
I'm not accomplishing anything. Amen. Because they need to learn. It, it says in 2 Corinthians, it talks about the things that God brings us through everything. It's yes. in 2 Corinthians, I think, chapter 1. It says he brings us through everything so we, in turn, can bring others through the same thing. What do we do? Then we lead them in the direction where they Amen. can talk to God about these things. Amen. The last scripture that we're going to go th through is Matthew 6.33. Matthew okay. 6.33. Okay. And so um, we know this scripture, man. So many of us know it, and we can quote it. And I mean, it's one of the, the favored favored scriptures, but we are we living this way? Are we doing what it says? Are we accomplishing what his word says? It says in 33, Matthew, Matthew 6, 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That is not prosperity doctrine there, buddy. I'm telling you that right now. What is he saying? We seek his righteousness. We seek what he says is right. How do we know that? We get into the word of God. That's where it's at. We get into the word of God. That's where he teaches us things, okay? He starts there. And then you develop a deep personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit starts to convey stuff to you. And you go deeper. And what is he saying here? And he will supply all things unto you. What are you looking for? I'm just, I'm just reading. Oh, you. and all these things shall be added to you. What's he talking about added to you? He's talking about necessities. He's talking about the needs. He's talking about... Food and clothing and water. Simple things. He's not talking about a big Lamborghini. He's not talking about those type of things. He's talking about everything that <clears throat> we don't have to worry about the, the clothes on our back. We don't have to worry about the food in our belly. We don't have to worry about getting a drink because he will supply those basic needs when we operate in righteousness. I'm, yes. so, I, I'm, I'm just reading along. I'm just like, man, I'm not following. And I'm <laughs> That's why I'm looking. I'm like, Lord, I know she, this. She, you know, and how, here, here's the thing that I do. That I, here's the thing that I do. For y'all, the reason I'm laughing is because I'm following along in my Bible, and I'm just like, she's in Mark six, not and I'm Matthew in Mark, and I'm like, this isn't right. I know Matthew said, ah, uh huh. Yes. Indeed. This is okay. This is a good lesson, though. Yeah. This is something that Jordan was saying that we need to make sure that we follow along. That's exactly right. Uh, thank you. you, you go, here, here, I want to suggest every single one of you, if you're not taking your Bible to church, you're in error. I'm going to tell you why. Because just because a pastor up there says something, he says something and he says a scripture, how do you know that that scripture is exactly how he says it? That's you it. need to open your Bible and you need to follow along with him. Yes. Okay? Or her. Okay, you need to follow along with them so you know and you learn and you That's understand it. as God has said. Because I've seen it all too often. I look at it and somebody's talking about a scripture and I'm like, that doesn't sound right. And I look it up and they're not quoting it correctly. They're misrepresenting the, the are they doing it intentionally? I'm not saying that. I'm saying they're misrepresenting the word of God. You need to have your Bible at church with you when somebody's preaching. Whenever somebody's teaching, now I know you're on the road right now, some of you, so you can't have your Bible. You need to have the word of God so you understand. Yes, when you're going to any mm. kind of teaching, especially Bible study, you need to be bringing the word with you so you yes. can... Because here's the deal. We all have different versions. We all we all yes. read. But we need to make sure we're on the same, same, we're understanding it in our spirits together. That's right. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, and I'm like, man, I've highlighted. Well, see, like, here's, here's something that I do. I, I transpose numbers. And so when I put in my PowerPoint together with the actual scripture, I don't put the whole scripture up. I just put the actual uh, chap, the book, the chapter, and the verse. And I transpose numbers, and she catches me. And then she, yep. uh, so often on these mornings, she was like over here looking. Hey, like, I just finished my coffee. Give me a break. What? So, so coffee it, it, and Jesus. Uh, hey, come on, hey, now. man. God, God, God did not create us perfect. Why? Because I am less, so, so he, he is, is more. more. Come on, Amen. guys. Everybody hear Amen. me this morning? Come on now. Yes, indeed. Woo yes, indeed. Wee. Yes, so I God. want you to understand, we seek his kingdom and his righteousness. Yes, we do. It's so important to do those things because here's the thing, man. I, I see it all the time, and it, and it, it is heartbreaking. It, it really, truly grieves me, okay? 
when people are, and we see this, they're known by their fruits. I'm going to go there again, okay? I see people and they're like, well, I had this great relationship with God. Well, I see the fruits of your life. Where's that relationship? We need to seek these things. Yes. We need to seek these things. Very seldomly, if you want if you want to make a good living, you don't sit on a park bench waiting for a bag of gold to fall in your lap. Mm. You seek out the things that you desire. The mm. thing that we need to desire the most is seeking his kingdom, being kingdom minded, and seeking righteousness. That's what we need to do, and everything else will be taken care of. Amen. Amen. That was a great lesson for youth one time. Uh, then, when you were talking to one of my youth, and they said uh, that they wanted to be a millionaire or something, remember that? Yes, yes. That was a great lesson, and that's and we can apply it to the word because, and that's what you were trying to tell this young man is that. He said, you said, how did you, you, you can tell the story. No, please. Ben asked him, well, how do you become a millionaire? What do you do? And he says, well, I don't know. And Ben said, do you work for it? Well, I just want to be a millionaire. I don't really want to work for it. And Ben said, all things come from working. We yeah. have to work at each thing. We have to grow. We have to study. That applies to the word. Yes. We, yes, God can seek. impart. And, and we seek. have to seek his face, though. We have to open our Bible. We have to put it in our heart on all times and learn and grow in him to get those deep roots. Mm. That's what we need to do. Because, listen... Our, yes, it was it, it was powerful, and I was like, wow. And the little boy got it. Yes. He's like, oh. Yes. It's not easy being a millionaire? No. They no. had to work for it. That's they exactly had to, right. It just, didn't, it, it just didn't land in his lap where he had millions of dollars. Yes. This man went out and had to do work to get millions of dollars. That's exactly right. And See? look, our, listen, <clears throat> the, like, like we said yesterday... God paid the price. Tuition's free. Listen, tuition is free into the college. Like, That's exactly like we right. made that little Into his thing. school, yes. Into, into his, his school. It's it, free. Is, it is free. Listen, but we need to make sure that we are opening up the Word of God, that we are doing what His Word says. Look, is that pray for wisdom. Pray for knowledge that He just imparts it in us, and, and we have understanding in the Word of God. Yes, indeed. And if you don't, and if you're just growing, listen... Ask question. That's how we learn. That's exactly right. Ask someone who, who's who been and knows the word. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. It's so important. It's These things are so important. Cause, and I, want you, I don't want to misrepresent anything. Our relationship, our giving, our, our being made anew, what Jesus did on the cross is what gets us into heaven. Come on. The things that we're talking about. These are things that other people see that they desire the same relationship. Amen. When I am changed, when I've been made anew, Amen. when I'm 100% made anew, the old man is dead. I desire to do these things. Amen. I desire to have work. I desire to have the fruit. I desire to operate in the gifts. I desire these things because the old man is gone. I'm going to put my hand on the plow and I'm never going to look back. Amen. Those are the things that we're talking about here. Yes, you're, you're right. If you're out there saying, well, that doesn't make any sense. That's not what gets you into heaven. You're correct. Those things, our works don't get us into heaven, but our works help others get there. You understand? We have to be a witness. As I say every yes. time I'm on here, we are representing Jesus everywhere we go, everything we say, yes. every action we take. People are watching. If you don't think yes. people are watching, whoo, you better recognize I have people who are watching that I don't even know who's watching because they will slip off the tongue and they'll be like, oh yeah, I saw you this morning and I heard... Oh, you did? Hmm. Oh, well, praise yes. God, because praise uh, God. that was the Holy Spirit speaking through me, and you needed to hear that this morning. Amen. And some Amen. people will be silent. They're called uh, they're called trolls. They're called creepers. They're called people who want to watch you. They're trying to study you. They're trying to see what you're about, to see if you're real, to see if you're the real deal. Study on, baby. Creep yes. on. Come on. Here's, Keep watching. Here, here, here's my fruit. Here's my <laughs> Here's my fruit, where's yours, right? <laughs> so that's why I encourage us all. We yes. have to, have to make sure that our fruit, our fruit. Good morning, George J. How good you morning, doing? Good morning, good morning. Our fruit is 
there. It, it, it needs is, to be it, there. It needs to be there. Yes, indeed. Woo! Yes, indeed. Okay. So guys, I want to encourage you. If you have any prayer requests, please put in the prayer request right now. If you don't want to say what it is, just say unspoken. Yes, God. God knows. God. It says in the Word of God, He knows what you need before you even Come ask on. Him. So if you have an unspoken prayer request, please put it yes, down. Yes, yes. If, otherwise, if you have any prayer requests, please, you know, give, give those right now. We're going to lift these up in prayer. Guys, I encourage you, while everybody's typing in their prayer requests, go ahead and share this right now. Yes. Share this. Guys, these things right here, we need to, we, we share enough trash. Let's share something from Him. Let's yes. share His Word. Let's encourage others to come together in the, His Word and in prayer together. Amen. Let's encourage, let people know who you are in Christ and Jesus. And what you stand today. for. What let, you stand so for. So if you're just joining us, if you're just now joining us, I, I say go back and watch it from the beginning. As, as, I, as I talked about anger, as I talked about these things and gave scriptures for it, go over these scriptures, read it for yourself, study. Go into um, Ephesians and go into uh, Proverbs. And we were in Proverbs when Ben gave his, uh, what would the Lord put on his heart. So go in and study these scriptures and put it in your heart and walk with it today. Walk with it today in Jesus' name. Mm, yes, yes, we've got indeed. prayer requests for Lisa. We're still praying for Rudy. We thank God that Rudy is, is doing better. We praise yes. God. Lord, we just lift up Rudy. We lift up... Uh, As she travels tomorrow. Oh, yes. Uh, Jay's traveling. Uh, yay, Jay. Uh, I know she's uh, coming into town. Yes. Um, Karen Coleman. Yes. Uh, Larry Bordowski. Uh Men's United, Men's Stephen United, Kness, uh, the Jeff. Pastor Tom Rendon, yes. Shawana Huffman, yes. Mandy Oliver, all of these people that were on. Chris the, Atkinson, yes. Ru, uh, Rudy Estrada, uh, Manny Cuellar, yes. all of those Tom Rendon. We're yes. lifting all of these gentlemen and these folks up in prayer. Yes, in Jesus God. Name. Yes. Larry, Larry Bardowski asked for prayer earlier. We're lifting you up, brother, in Jesus' yes, name. In Jesus we're claiming name. that. I want to pray for myself today as we travel to Burning. Oh, we're, yes. We're going to be traveling. Uh, uh, Abby, Graceland, and myself are traveling to see my, uh, my one of my our boys, uh, Adrian, and our granddaughters over there. So we want to lift up that for a safe trip in, as well in Jesus, yes, name. in Jesus' name. So guys, anybody else that's going that has a prayer request right now that hasn't had an opportunity? Oh, Kim's having a root canal. Kim's having a root canal. Yes. What, what happened with, is Dwayne out of the Yes, I just got a text message. Um, everything was successful. Woohoo! Praise. Okay. This is, this is Dwayne. This is uh, the gentleman that we've been praying for the last two days. Had back surgery and I went on for like, what, six, seven, eight hours, something like that. Mm -hmm. So we, we've been praying for him and everything came through. Y'all pray for, yes. <clears throat> so that so praise report on Rudy, praise report on Dwayne. He was in surgery for multiple hours. She just said they got out at 1245 in the morning. Oh, 1245 so, in the morning. Wow. Uh, we're going to pray for Kim as she has a root canal today. We're going to pray for no pain, no discomfort, that it just is touched immediately. Taking care so of So let's, let's go in prayer. Yes, we have so all we're lifting all of those up. Right now, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, <clears throat> we lift up these prayer requests. Father, you know the desires of our hearts. So, Father God, I ask that you, Yahweh Rapha, Lord God of healing, come in. Break every chain. You are the promise keeper. Make every path straight. Father God, that anybody that has a physical ailment right now, I'm asking that you go in and you touch their body. Give them the new part. And I say this in faith, and I stand in agreement with what they're praying for in their body in Jesus' name. Yes, Those of us that are having uh, mental issues, a spiritual attack, the afflictions of the mind, Father God, I ask that you go and you yes, convict. Jesus. You lead them to denounce these things. Renou renounce and denounce these issues in their life, Father yes, God, so God. they can operate in the way that you made yes, them. Father God. God, spiritually speaking, I ask that you strengthen every single one of us so when we walk yes, through our God. day, we can walk righteous, yes. that we can be wise, that we have no anger, that we have no slander. The things that we spoke about today, Father God, I ask you just to come in and convict us in every single situation today, Father God. I lift all of these prayer requests up to you in Jesus' name. Yes, Father God. 
Lord, I stand in full agreement over each and every single person, Lord, that we have lifted up. Lord, I ask, Lord, for traveling mercies upon yeah. Jay and for Ben and Abby and Graceland, Father God, today, Lord. I ask, Lord, for those that are traveling to work that have been online with us today, Lord, be with them. Keep yeah. them safe today, Father God. Lord, name, keep, yes. keep your hand and your angels and encamped around them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, Lord, I lift up each pastor that's on this morning, Lord. Lord, I lift up Tom Rondone. I lift up uh, Pastor Shawana Huffman. Father God, Lord, these women and men of God, Lord, I ask that you, Lord, continue yes. to bless their ministry. Keep them, Father God. Yes. Lord, let our king, the kingdom of God yes. grow. Lord, I ask that each person on here, Lord, that we continue to witness and be representation representation of you and yes. you only, Father Ashley, God. Ashley got added to uh, Jay's friend, Ashley. Yes, Jay's. Lord, we just lift up Ashley, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, name. every prayer that's in this book, we lift it up to you in the name of Jesus. Jesus I thank name. you, Father God, in yes. Jesus' name. In Jesus' amen. name, amen, 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 and amen. And amen. Yes. We, uh, we're thankful that you watched. If it was, if this touched you this morning, please go back and watch as we talked about several things that was on our spirit. Yes. Share it. Get it out there and let people know what they need to do. There's enough angry people walking around. Let the word of God sink into their hearts amen, today. Amen. Amen. Let, let your roots be deep. Amen. And your wisdom of the heavenly wisdom bring people into a relationship yes, with Yes, God. Them. Guys, we love you. We, we call, call you, you blessed. blessed. And highly favored in Jesus' name. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Take care. God bless. Love you. Love you.